Hello, I'm some random guy off the internet. I'm going to be teaching you some new and interesting ways to go to jail. So today we're going to be doing a Cloudflare bypass. And what that basically means is that we're going to be getting the origin IP of a Cloudflare protected site. What we're going to be using, it's not going to be a script. It's not going to be uh, anything fancy. It's just going to be this website. So anybody can do it. All you have to do is make a free account here at uh, securitytrails.com and the, the account's free like I said and I'm not being paid us to uh, promote it or anything but once you have a free account it's gonna look just like this okay and what this basically is is that you are able to see all the historical records because they happen to be the largest archive of historical DNS records and what a DNS is just think of it like a phone book it's uh, when you have a website you have an IP and so when you type in google.com Google it corresponds with an ip address and this is just basically like a large phone book so when you in your browser type in google.com it knows exactly where to direct you to now the site that we're going to be focusing on is stormfront stormfront.org stormfront.org is one of the largest uh probably oldest or is oldest and probably the largest uh neo-nazi websites so we're going to go ahead and uh there are they are a cloud flare protected site we're going to take a look at, at uh if we can't find their origin ip okay and so if you look here, um, if you make yourself an account, this is what's going to look like on the inside. So as soon as you come up uh, and you type in right here, like I have, you type in Stormfront, right? Because that's what we're looking for. And it'll bring up, you know, and this has quite a few pages. And, and these quite a few pages date back pretty far. Uh, I'll show you here. So uh, all the way back for, let's see, about 15 years or so. And, that, and that's that's pretty decent. So it'll show you every, every IP, you know, uh, that they've that this has recorded that they've uh, switched around you know different hostings and, and stuff like that so uh i believe that this is just another um uh, i've looked in a couple of these i think this is just a cl uh, cloud server so we're looking for something which wasn't at the time being protected by cloudflare obviously because it would say that and we'll just go through all the records real quick and this also has all their a the triple a's the uh, mx um xt's and, and everything else so um I'll start at the bottom here and these are all just the same. So yeah, I mean, there's no sense even going through all of that. So what you'll find out is the newest ones, right? The, the, that's what probably what you're going to want. Uh, it just depends. And uh, the newest ones run up here. And uh, so I was looking through this and I happened to come across a little anomaly. Two actually, and I actually looked them both up. So we'll go through here until I see it again. So it'll be the uh, parent layer three. somewhere in here up ah, there it was so there was the limestone network right and i've looked these up a little bit and you'll see uh there at the top it would be those uh both of those boxes from let's say the top left and the top right both are the uh, what i found with the limestone network however and i'll get to the bottom uh bottom left bo bottom right um was here these two that you see here the, these are the parent three um uh, I'll look them up. It's basically, you know, they, they get contracted by uh, internet service by internet service providers to be able to use their uh, infrastructure. So what we're seeing here, I thought was pretty interesting. I, I felt like I hit the nail on the head. Uh, though there's blocking um, all my probes here, you will notice one thing in particular, right? So this does seem to have, you know, some uh something going on with it here so uh, a little bit looking around looked at the years uh, looked them up a little bit um what people knew about them and how they've moved around and, and i feel like this very well right here could have been uh i think maybe something was wrong with the hosting that they would have right before or they switched over here and uh they were the guy or somebody had to host it themselves and um I think they they did it. I think they they very well could have posted themselves, and that IP address that we see right here very well could be the origin of this site. And I'm not saying one way or the other, and I'm definitely not advocating anybody use that information for anything. But I thought that this was kind of a cool, um, nifty way. Uh, you never know how how long a Cloudflare bypass is going to like last, right? Before it gets patched, or and that's if you can find one at all. That's if there is, you know, a bypass even at that time. So, and uh, this uh, going about it from a different angle with the historical records, I thought was kind of interesting. So I wanted to share it. I want to make a quick video and just kind of get that out there. I thought it might be something that uh, you, some people would find interesting. So thanks for watching and uh, until again.